hey, what's up, Pizza Living Nerd here. So Endeavor OS finally came out with its online installer, so we're going to be taking a look at it. I've been very excited about this because I've been looking for a easy way to install Arch without the hassle for a while now, so that way whenever I need an Arch system, I could just blop it up, just like that. So, uh, as you can see, we've booted into the ISO here, and, uh, oh shoot, I have to hit boot. Alright, so, a little bit of time and a display change later for the resolution, and we're in. So, uh, if we, uh, this is our welcome screen, so we get put with install so I can start the installer or I can uh, go into a partitional partitional partition manager you head over to troubleshoot update this welcome app you utilize pac-man keys and get some installation tips this is probably just going to open a web browser and there's also general info so we're going to get to installer by clicking on start the installer and then it will ask if you want offline or an online installer. So if we head over to offline installer, it opens up Calmaris. And uh, if we just quickly go through it, I already installed this just for testing. But if we quickly go through it and then uh, just uh, everything, there isn't really any configuration of packages. This will just install regular Endeavor OS and nothing else will change. So uh, yeah, it will also have a customized version of XFCE. Now, if you want to head over to Online Installer, this one you get to choose your package stuff right here. Right here it says Package Selection. That's where you'll get to select all your packages. So we're going to head through. First it's our location, then it's our keyboard layout, then it's our disk stuff. And once you're in, it will give you Package Selection. So let's say I wanted uh, the Budgie Desktop, or I guess the Deepin Desktop. Um, if you check Deepin, you can actually customize what's included. So if for some reason I don't want a display manager, I can uncheck all of these. Now, I do wish that uh, instead of having package groups listed, it just listed like all of the packages so that I can get some things from a package group and not all of them. But this is still pretty cool due to how customizable it is. So I could do GNOME. I have XFCE here. Now XFCE actually does list all of the packages. It's not the best looking installer, but who cares? Uh, it's still very easy to make choices to what desktops and stuff you want. I'm just going to install LXQT because I actually am a little bit interested in LXQT. I haven't used it very much. You can also install printing support, which will install everything you need to do printing on Linux, as well as accessibility tools, including mouse tweaks and Orca. And if you're on NVIDIA graphics cards, you can check these NVIDIA drivers right here. Anyways, this looks good for me, LXQT, so you just hit next, then continue the installation as normal. Enter in your password, uh, head over to summary, and hit install now. And now Endeavor OS will uh, install all of these uh, packages, so that's pretty nice. All right, it's done now, so uh, we're just gonna reboot. And uh, we booted back into the ISO, but that's okay. I can just navigate to boot existing OS, and uh, boom, we're gonna boot into it. Let's see how it looks. All right, so uh, we're in now, so this is LXQT. All I've changed is a little bit of theming and some monitor settings. So this is stock LXQT now. Uh, it looks pretty nice. It did install properly. Let's open an app. I did change it from Oxygen to Breeze, but that's all I changed. We can head over to our Window Manager Preferences and get a different theme. I'll just use Default. Now, uh, we do have a welcome screen here. There's General Info and After Install, so uh, this is like a post-install thing. And if we click on Add More Apps, we can add some more apps. So if I wanted Chromium instead of Firefox or LibreOffice, I can just click on your LibreOffice type in the password and it will install through this installer right here. So now we have LibreOffice installed as you can see here. LibreOffice is installed. Overall this installer for Endeavor OS is a great way to install Arch and I, I'm going to be definitely using this installer a lot more. Also if you visit the community tab of my YouTube channel 
I've been doing polls for Linux Awards, which is a yearly video I do. So, uh, if you think this installer looks cool, you can vote for the new Endeavor OS installer that, uh, just came out. So, yeah. So, if you want to vote for all of these Linux Award rewards, you can vote for all of these polls by heading over to the community tab of my YouTube channel. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to my Patreon supporter, Michelle Valentino, for supporting me on Patreon. If you want cool, uh, tiers, or, I guess, benefits, such as early access to some videos and a gaming tournament twice a month, uh, check out the Patreon with the link below. See ya, guys.